Hi, I'm Steve Bencall with the Nissan Applications Department here at the Nissan headquarters in Houston, Texas, along with one of our new Sprint MD Elite testers. I'd like to show you one of the features of our new Sprint MD tester, which is sequential leak testing. And sequential leak testing is where you sequence between several different test programs, which can be different types of test programs, or they uh, may be at different test pressures. Uh, I have my Sprint MD tester, which has a touch screen, also has a slide feature that allows you to slide through the different uh, run menus. Uh, I have for my test port today, a catheter which has two test ports. Uh, we will be performing leak test on the uh, balloon port on channel one, and we'll be performing uh, leak, back pressure flow, and occlusion tests on port two using programs three and four. So I'll start my test, and uh, in most cases, uh, when the balloon inflates, you would have some sort of restriction device, but for our video, we're gonna let the balloon inflate. I'm gonna start with program one, which is a low pressure leak test. You see the balloon slightly inflate. We're running our leak test. Now we're gonna to move to program two on channel one, which is gonna inflate the balloon completely. and we're sequencing through those two leak tests. Now we'll move over and do our flow test on program three, port two. So that was a back pressure flow test. This is now an occlusion test, and those both will tell us that the part is not blocked or occluded in any way. So we've run through our sequence of four tests, two leak tests on port one, and two flow tests on port two, and we have passed all four tests. We can also, uh, challenge the test by um, setting up some reject conditions on the part as well. So in order to do that, I'm going to use for the leak test, one of our standard leak, leak standards, which is a uh, laser drilled orifice mounted inside a block, which plugs into the tester in line with the test item. And then I'm going to use a small piece of plastic to block the flow port where I will fail the back pressure flow test and occlusion test because my flow test will now no longer be open, but it will be blocked. So we'll start with our first leak test at low pressure. And there's our reject. Our second high pressure leak test Also a reject. Now we move over to the flow test, the back pressure flow test. We've failed that test because we're blocked. And here's our occlusion test, which also fails because the part is showing an occlusion. If you have any questions on the components you're testing or the parts you're testing, or any questions on any of our equipment or one of your applications, please feel free to contact us through our local area representatives or also at nissan.com.